Welcome back to Camp Catholic. So today is our second day. Yesterday we learned all about God's creation. We learned that He created everything and He created it good. And that He gave us the responsibility to take care of His creation. Today we're going to learn that God has asked us to help Him share His light mm -hmm. and His saving message. Have you ever been without the lights before? Oh. Uh. Yeah, one time, oh, we lost power. This makes me think of when we lost power many years ago. We couldn't see anything. We didn't know what to do without the lights. And it, sometimes it can get dark all of a sudden. And so it can get scary sometimes if you don't have light. So what does, it, what does lack of light stop us from doing uh, what we want and what we need? Without the light, I can't do my homework. I can't read anything, and it gets cold really quick. It does, and sometimes we can't even find our way back to where we need to go. You're right. So when we are camping, it is important to have a nice campfire. Mm. It might not seem important at first, but once it gets dark, it's going to be very important when the sun goes down. So out in the wilderness, it can be very dark, and it can be difficult to see what is around you. Imagine the only light you have is the campfire and the stars. So why is the campfire so important? Yeah, the campfire gives us light and it gives us warmth. It enables us to cook our food, to stay warm, and it brings comfort. What can happen if our campfire goes out? Without our campfire, we're going to get cold. We could freeze. We might not be able to cook our dinner, and we wouldn't be able to see anything, let alone each other. Exactly. So today we're going to learn the importance of light and how we can have the light in our lives. We are very dependent on the light, and both physically and spiritually, to survive. So what is the main source of light for the Earth? For the Earth, the main source of light is the sun. The sun rises every morning and it warms the earth. It brings creation alive and it lets us see the beauty of the world around us. That's right. The sun is the main source of light for the whole earth. But there's a lot of other sources of light. Can you think of some other sources of light we have? Yeah. Today, we also have electricity. So we have street lights, we have our flashlights, we can turn on the lights in our house. It's crazy. We can make light anytime we want. That's right. There's so many sources of light out there. Today we have our campfire, mm -hmm. we have candles, we have electricity. Light is all around us. Can we think of any more of why light is so important? Well, when I think of all the plants, they need the sunlight in order to grow. Sunshine gives plants and humans energy. Imagine having a party on a rainy day. There's just something kind of sad. But when the sunshine is out, we're happy, we're full of life. The sunshine gives energy to the world and provides for growth. Wonderful. So darkness can be more than being without sunlight. Sometimes we can feel that we are in darkness and even without light. When we are feeling sad and lonely, we feel as like we're in the darkness. And sometimes we can turn on a light, but it still feels dark and cold inside. So how can our light, so who can be our light when we are in darkness? Hmm. For me, Jesus is the light in the darkness. Even when we might feel alone or by ourselves, we know that the light of Jesus, shining within our hearts, brings us comfort and warmth. That's wonderful. So Jesus is the light of the world, and he brings us, and sometimes he might put people in our lives to bring us light. I know for me, if I'm having a really rough day, I can call my mom and she'll bring a little light into my life. 
What about you? Who do you call if you're having a down day? That's beautiful. I like to call friends. Some of my friends are like brothers and sisters to me. I also have four sisters, and they bring a lot of joy and comfort whenever I might feel like I'm alone. So our friends and family can definitely give us light, but God provided us the most beautiful light, Jesus, like you were saying. Jesus is definitely the light of our life and can bring warmth into our hearts. So now we're going to listen to a Bible story about Jesus. Yeah, today we're going to read from the Gospel of John. In chapter 8, Jesus says, Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And in chapter 3 of John's Gospel, he says, And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For whoever does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. So if we have faith, and we believe in Jesus, and all that Jesus teaches us, we are filled with light, and darkness is pushed away. When we learn, when we are born and are baptized, we receive the light of God. This means that we carry Jesus in our hearts. And when we light our candles, there is a light and warmth. And when we light two candles, there's even more light and warmth. And what happens when we light many candles? And why is that so important? Mm. Light does not go away when it is seen. We can share the light within us with other people and it doesn't get any smaller. The light just multiplies the more we share it. Wonderful. And the more candles we have, the less darkness there is. The, all the light takes away all the darkness. It is beautiful when we have so much light and we can all bring the light of Christ to others. So the more candles we have and light, the greater the light will be. And when we share the good news about Jesus within our soul and our hearts, and the light of Christ shines even brighter, and we bring light to the whole world. So remember, accepting Jesus with Jesus' love and His will warm our hearts and give us light that we can share with others. By passing the light of Jesus throughout the whole world, we are warming the world with God's love. So let us end our time today with our camp shout out. So if you guys are at home, feel free to join along. All right. Yeah, here Let's we go. go. Let's stand up. All right, here we go. Hey, hey, what do you say? We are feeling great today. Hey, hey, what do you know? We're a part of God's creation. Hey, hey, what's the news? This world is made for me and you. Hey, hey, tell me more. Give thanks for God's creation. <laughs> Have fun, guys, and we'll see you later. We'll see you later. Have fun today.